Okay, so Nidhi has asked a very good question that is there any role of the dextrose 5% or DNS as a maintenance fluid in ICU or in post-op surgical patients? So understand that the maintenance fluid which we use serves two main purposes. One, it maintains the hydration of the patient and helps in maintaining the hemodynamics of the patient, which is fine enough. Secondly, it provides certain calories to the patient. So are these calories sufficient enough to take care for the demands of the patient? So let's understand. How much calorie a patient requires in post-op surgical patients or on a daily basis simply a patient requires? So it is somewhere around 30 to 40 kilocalorie or 30 to 40 calorie per day. So 30 to 40 calorie per day means say 70 kg person will require somewhere around 2000 to 2500 calories per day. This is the average requirement. It can increase in catabolic state also. Now, how much uh, calorie will a dextrose 5% solution will provide or DNS will provide because DNS also contains 5% uh, dextrose. So, a dextrose 5% solution means in 100 ml of that uh, solution, it contains 5 gram of glucose. So, 1 liter of D5 will contain 50 gram of uh, dextrose or 50 gram of glucose. And 1 gram of glucose, how much calorie will provide? It will provide somewhere around 4 calories. So, 50 gram will provide 200 calories to the patient. Now, if we are giving this D5 at the rate of 40 ml per hour, we are providing one liter to the patient. We are giving one liter to the patient. If we are giving at 80 ml per hour, we are providing two liters of D5 to the patient in a day. If we are providing fluid at the rate of 120 ml per hour, we are providing three liter of dextrose 5% in a day. So three liters we are providing, suppose. So three liters mean 50, 50, 50, 50 means 150, uh, uh, 150 grams of uh, glucose we are providing per day. So 150 into four, how much it will be? Somewhere around 600. So we are only provide 600 calories of, of uh, uh, 600 calories to this patient in a particular day. And what we required is somewhere around 2000 to 2500. So these maintenance fluids are good for providing hydration good for good for preventing hypoglycemic episodes in a patient but they are not sufficient enough to prevent the uh, to meet the calorie demands of the patient in such scenario that's why we say that we should start the nutrition as early as possible in any patient who is admitted to icu or in post op patients so i hope you understand that these maintenance fluid provides good hydration prevents hypoglycemia and to some extent they provide the calorie but not meet the whole demands of uh, calorie required to the patients in the ICU or in the wards. So do read more about it. Thank you.